Today in 20 Days of Amino Acids, it's all about alanine, the most generic amino acid. That genericness is actually makes it so that it is the best friend of both structural biologists and endurance athletes. And no, I'm not suggesting taking it as a supplement. Instead, your muscles use it as a way to get rid of waste safely. In your muscles, when they're working really hard, they're going to be breaking down blood sugar, glucose, but they also might start breaking down proteins. And in order to get energy from the proteins, they need to safely remove these amino groups. If they were to just cut it off, then you would get ammonia released. And if you have ammonia trembling through your bloodstream, it's basically having Windex veins. You don't want that. So instead, what you do is you take an amino acid and you pass that amino group onto pyruvate, which is your end product of glycolysis. That gives you alanine. Ship that alanine through the bloodstream to the liver because alanine so blah, it's not going to cause problems. The liver takes it in. And it takes that amino group and it puts it back onto alpha ketoglutarate to give you glutamate. And that's left back with pyruvate. The liver can now change that pyruvate and turn it into glucose in the process of gluconeogenesis. Ship that back to the muscles. And that amino group, well, you're in the liver where you have this thing called the urea cycle. And so the liver can actually take that amino group and safely dispose of it as urea. And there you go, you've got this glucose alanine cycle and the blondness of alanine was making it so that it's not going to be reacting in the blood, it's not gonna be causing problems. It just kind of stealthily transfers that amino group safely to the liver where the liver can handle it. And your muscles get back the glucose so they can keep moving. What about the structural biology side? Well, the blondness helps us here too. Structural biology, we explore the interplay between biomolecular form and function. Kind of like how different parts of a Swiss army knife do different things, but you can get a Swiss army knife and say, well, this part probably does this. Let's test that hypothesis by making a change and seeing what happens. You can do this through site-directed mutagenesis, where you change the amino acid sequence of the protein. And often what people do is they change it to an alanine. People sometimes do what we call an alanine scan, where they go through and they change every amino acid one at a time to an alanine and see what effects this has. Because if it's an important amino acid for something, then it's going to have a big effect. And because alanine is so kind of blah, it is able to then have less confounding effects. Alanine just has that methyl group which is not reactive, and so it's not going to do weird stuff that might confuse you in thinking that an amino acid was important, but it's really just, you changed it to something that now is doing weird stuff. Why not change it to glycine? That's smaller, right? Well, it's too small, so small that it's floppy and it will mess up things like alpha helices and beta strands, whereas alanine is happy in those.